Impressive. Now bear in mind that's full base and that's barely even turned well. It's cranked up but uh, yeah the base is all the way. I could get way more volume without the base. Impressive. It sounds fantastic in a hole. Sorry about the wind there. These speakers are absolutely fantastic. The two bottom ones are 15 inch and they're rated at 200 watts. The top ones are 12 inch and also rated at 200 watts, which is a grand total of 800 watts. But get this, the RCFs are 800 watt each and they can withstand, well they can, so my friend says, they can be cranked to uh, 1000 watt each, so it's 2000 watts. Now this what I find amazing is the Scots are actually louder than the RCFs. Oh yeah, there's way more bass and uh, the volume is just really loud. I mean you can crank these up to almost full volume with like full bass and you get no distortion. So it's unbelievable. When you read the drivers online, the drivers that are in them, they can withstand a lot of abuse, the top ones, so you can really give it some snot and uh, it won't damage them but I do want to say that if you crank it up you need to make sure that you put your uh, your, uh, hot, your your high and your mid to tend to otherwise you're going to end up with <laughs> with it going like you know when you put a speaker in the bathroom and you get that noise you get them from the horns when you get to that silly volume so yeah you've got to crank them down because it is very loud and what I love about these speakers is so you've got RCFs which are like, you know, it's like a medium, you know, so it's like, you know, good sound, that's good, it's bassy, it's loud, but it's like a medium, okay? The Scots are spicy, okay? So you get all these flavours, you get all these spices, if you know what I mean, so it's more like zesty. So when you 
up to it you get that nice crystal clear quality and even if you take the horns out you still sounds like there's a tweeter there because the so much clarity the quality is fantastic you know if you took the horn out of the rcf they just sound like dull but with them they just sound great the speakers sound great the bass drivers sound bassy and loud overall amazing when i had them indoors i was like wow it was absolutely thumping and i cranked it up to the max on the amp almost touching the touching the nose you know it was, it was unbelievable and i couldn't believe i'd got to that volume and it didn't even you know distort and this is the amp that i currently use which is the euro power ep 1500 which is 1500 watts 700 watts per channel now the, the good thing is because these are 8 ohm speakers that amp is only rated for because of the ohms it, you're only going to get uh, 160 watts per speaker if that so that's what's really cool about it so if you clip it if it's clipping away it means it's past the 160 watt clip but the amazing thing is because these are 200 watts obviously if you start clipping it you don't need to worry because you know you know you're in the clear because you're not gonna it's not over the 200 watt mark so it's pretty damn cool and I've used these uh, for the first time outdoors and I was really impressed and there was this song that came on I don't know what it is I'll put it in the description when I find it because I videoed it it's unbelievable they, they had these big bass drivers bopping like crazy and I could feel the bass in my chest and it was like, it was clipping away and I thought, wow. And I got told to turn it down after I'd got told to turn it up. So I turned it down a tad and then the woman came and actually turned it down further because it was just absolutely bopping. So yeah, it's just great. These are overall amazing. But again, if you're doing a gig that's a small venue, stick to the RCF. If you're doing a larger venue, take the Scots, take something like these, because you'll get more headroom. You know, I mean, the distance, obviously, in the video, sorry about the wibble wobble wibble, but uh, I, it was it was quite clear from a distance, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, it kept its volume at a distance. And mind you, the, I didn't even crank it all the way up. I could have gone, like, a lot louder uh, than that, really. And the, I, I shut the video off because the woman actually came in after and said, are you trying to deafen us? And I said, oh, sorry, I was doing a sound test. She said, oh, no, no, it's all right. But yeah, even she was like, she came out. You'll see in the video, she walks out because she's like, it's really loud. And obviously, because my camera's got like a a thing on it where it'll, if it's too loud, it'll, uh, you know, it'll uh, knock the microphone volume down so it was a lot louder than what it seems on the mic it was yeah it was insane i loved it me yeah yeah it was impressive but yeah my mixer um actually had a problem with it because the these two channel that channel's buggered and then that one for some reason is not working properly and the mic broke and uh, as you can see there i had to put the uh the ten two because <laughs> it got too too loud, you know what I mean? Uh, when I had bonkers on it I had to do that because it was like and it was just like ah my ears and it's same when you play country roads as well, that's just too much. I love country roads but that when it goes Wah! and it's like really loud. It really blasts the ears out of that like so yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful with these they're quite loud, and I think because the the from oh, I was told they're from around nineteen eighty nine, sort of early sort of nineties, and I don't think it was regulated properly. So I think these are actually can be pushed to well, I'd say probably more than four hundred watts each, because they're louder than the RCFs. So I would say probably. 1900 watts 1800 watts in total i know that my friend said the the, the rcfs can be pushed to a thousand but i don't know because it's louder so so yeah but that's going to do it for this one 
Hope you liked it. Cheers for watching. Thanks.